I am a post-drag queen, a man in a dress. I don't shave my legs or wear a bra to impress. Aggressive activist, femme fatale, replicating a woman but still very male. This isn't misogyny, no jokes about cunt, but a gender analysis, a political stunt. Post-drag, post-feminist, post-giving a shit. Misogynistic homophobes can deal with this. I am alpha male. I stand tall, erect, both top and bottom. Your fear and my dread. A gender pretender, a glint in his eye. A lip syncer, a poet. Hear my cry, a tuneless song. Expressing a voice of a harlot. Of a starlet, camp is a choice. A weapon, a means, an attack on the norm, highlighting a heritage from which we weren't born. A heritage, I say, not like black or white or religion, which is nurtured, giving reason to fight. We were born to the enemy, the opposition, the foe, leading a life of which they can't know. Defining, exciting. Stimulation against expectation. A freak, a unique but no one-off sensation. Friends of Dorothy. Yes, that's what they call us, the queers. We have a heritage, and that heritage is Oz. Yes, that's right, Oz, I cry. For twinks, for bears, for dykes. Oh my. Dorothy in Oz, a fag hag on the prowl. Ruining your childhood, but let me show you how. A pretty young girl with no friends of her own needs to learn the lesson there's no place like home. She makes new friends, all queer in a way who are looking for love and for someone to say that you are fabulous, unique, stand tall, be yourself, be glamorous, and she loved them all. So coward or thick, oh, heartless or queer, Judy taught us to love and live without fear. And then in her death, June 69, she was to be celebrated one last time. Queer wasn't legal, and in NYC, Greenwich Village was the safe place to be. And in the village, one bar was a mecca to all things queer. Stonewall. For fags, hags, drags, even you, dear. Yes, Stonewall, Greenwich Village, New York City. It was fabulous. Forbidden. But prohibition can be fun. Electric. Magnetic. And you could love anyone. To celebrate her death, they threw a big do with glitter and music and everything taboo. So it was a normal night in that dingy shack, but with one main difference. Every queer wore black. So we're all there, Stonewall, Greenwich Village, New York City. Each and every one of us decked out in black to celebrate the life of Judy Garland. We're all there, you, 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 and you, and you, and you. The fags, the hags, the glitz and the glam, the trans, the dykes. Is that a girl or a man united in black? A girl understood. She left us, she'd gone, but Judy was good. We all have a drink. There's a girl on the bar. Wait, it's a drag queen. Beehive, stuff bra. She sings. She sings. She sings for Judy. She left no time to regret. Kept his dick wet. With his old safe saying that. Judy Garland had two gay husbands. Me and my heels high and my tears dry. Get on without my guy. You went back to what you knew. So far removed from all that we'd been. Through. And at that moment, the doors burst open and cops flood into the building. But wait, it's 1969. We're used to a police raid, but something is different. Something is in the air. No one's sure why it started or why tonight or who started it. Some say it was the butch dyke in the corner, others the femme guy behind the bar. But me, I like to think it was one of the drag queens because we were inescapably there. We look the cops in the eye and say the word no. A no so powerful that it echoes around the wall of the Stonewall Inn, out onto Christopher Street down through the streets of New York City, across the rest of the world, and through generations to come. No. 
The cops stand in stunned silence. The drag queens look at each other. The fluttering of eyelashes. The butch dykes give a knowing nod. The flamer head to toe in black body glitter brushes his fringe out of his eyes in anticipation of what's about to happen. It's not about one night. This is about years of abuse, years of being the underdogs, of being smokings, burning of bras, levitation of the pentagon, all is bound in this no, and it kicks off. Transgendered bar staff, rent boys and whores, Wall Street closets and Gucci coutures, crowds on the street, people jeering, arm in arm at the cops, we're cheering, we've had, or we can take from you, the Gestapo, we're putting down our heels, once and for all. Thirteen arrests and for officers hurt in a chain of men dancing in skirts, a cop broke his wrist, a limp fag, but it made the world's press and a fashion mag. That was the night it all began, that was the night of duty celebration, and that was the night of queer liberation.